Okay, we're back for another Azure Standard video. We convinced Mr. Reeve to be with us today. I'm here for the snacks. I <laughs> I bribed him with snacks, hence, look it, a pear. Am I allowed to eat it while you're- You can eat it, yes. Right. Yes, this is your snack time, Mr. Reeve. I love this plant. Yes, yeah, snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Anyways, um, we always start with the things that we made from this. You can't be loud, though. No slurping? No slurping. Burp, burp. We start with the things that we made from um, the previous stuff we got. So let's start there. Uh, Mr. Reeve and I made some blended salsa. And, um, and then we canned it up. We made some spicy and some not spicy. Um, along with this went the two cases of pints that I got from Azure Standard on this order. Um, so that's why you don't see them on the table, but they're around here somewhere. Fill salsa. Um, I also made some onion jam, um, which I thought I was going to do a video on, but I don't really like it. Um, and so I'm not going to do a video about junk that you probably won't like either. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So onion jam is not my jam, but... Hey. I gave you that joke. He did. Yeah. He gets credit <laughs> for that. Give credit where credit is due. Um, anyways, I am going to try another recipe because remember I got a case of onions um, on a previous order. I'm going to try to make some sauteed onions and you add Worcestershire sauce to it and then pressure can it so you can use it for like soups and stews and burgers and French onion soup and all the things. And so if that comes out great, then we'll make a video about that. We did make a video about the salsa. Um, mm. yeah, and it's, it's really good. Salsa. Really good. It's really good. It's, it's like simple and fresh and that's the way that, that's the way we like to eat, right? Yep. Okay. Um, you can see that this carrot bag is a little open. Um, one of the th other things that we made, um, and actually I used these carrots was I'm trying to perfect a carrot salad recipe mm. where basically it's like pickled carrots with garlic and all the good things and then you um, can put it on your shelf it'll be good for two years because it's pickled and then you'll drain the liquid out and add olive oil to it like a carrot salad but um, this is still my trial jar it has all my notes on it but when I uh, perfect it then we're gonna do a video on that too you in for that absolutely I'm looking at the garlic in that thing I'm in. right right you're gonna try this tonight I know you I know you. Okay, let's do a couple reviews of things that we um, got last time. So, Mr. Reeve, I got you here. Now people can see your face better. There you go. I got you some vitamins. This is like electrolyte, super electrolyte liquid yep. and some vitamins. Um, and you've been trying them for, what, at least two weeks now. And you've been doing yep. really good taking your vitamins. Yeah. Which I'm not great at that. So, what do you think about these things? What's your review? I think... I do know that here lately I've had a little bit less pain and I've not been working any less, that's for sure. Right. Mr. So, Reeve is a contractor by day and a homesteader hauling all the things at night. So his body takes the toll all the time. Yep. So if there's anything that we can find for him that helps him feel better and not be in pain as much every day, then it's totally worth the money. Even though, I mean, these things are probably not necessarily always in our budget, but... Totally worth it if Mr. Reeve feels better. Yeah. So that's good. Um, let's see. Um, this was the foo foo hair stuff that I got last time. It's leave-in conditioner. Um, it's great. It smells good, but it just makes my hair look greasy, and that is not a trait that I need. <laughs> that is not no. So, so I probably won't be buying that again. Um, there is one thing I changed my mind on about. Now, last time, um, I got this stone ground mustard, and I thought it tasted weird. But like two years ago, I lost my taste buds and then they came back, right? Um, and so sometimes when I taste things for the first time, they taste real, real, real bad. So um, the first time I tasted this, I was like, why would anybody buy that? But then after I've continued to taste it, it's actually really good. So my, ta yeah, my taste buds lied, but it's good now, okay? <laughs> so I take it back. This is a lovely mustard. <laughs> it's not too spicy. It's not bitter at all. You know, sometimes they just get bitter and... They That's just good. put too much pizzazz in it, but this too much, a little too much razzle dazzle, a little too much razzle dazzle <laughs> in the mustard. But yeah, but this was good. Okay. So let's see. Those are all review things. Beep, beep, boop. Oh yes. So I already talked about, I ordered this giant bag of organic carrots. Now these are the number two carrots, like the ones that are missized or misshapen or whatever, but I can get them for about a dollar a pound, which is pretty close to the same price 
if not better than we can get organic carrots here. Um, and I ordered this because we didn't grow any carrots. I tried to make carrots go to seed, yada, yada, big mess. Nothing happened. We got 400 pounds of potatoes, so does that count? But we did not get any carrots. Um, mm -hmm. No, so I ordered carrots. Um, but then our friends, very lovely friends, um, gleamed from a farm and gleam? Gleamed. That's why you were grinning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> gleamed. Thank you, sir, for your grammar corrections. Um, <laughs> That's not usually what you say. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up, husband. <laughs> from a local farm, the Rempel Farm. And they grow the best carrots on the planet or the best carrots that I have ever tasted in my life. And so they they called us one day and they're like, hey, you want a bag of carrots? And I'm like, sure, we'll take a bag of carrots. Well, it was like a contractor bag of carrots. So 160 pounds of carrots later that we have now stored in the cold room. So I got, yeah, we need to figure out what to do with some carrots, boy. And they're so, super good. So I am going to make some carrot cake muffins. Are you up for that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Reeve approves of this message. Are you shocked? <laughs> Okay, so other things that we got, um, this 14 pound box of banana chips, you can see them there. We just keep them in jars um, and we usually we came by the couch or Mr. Reeve will take some in the truck so he has them at work, but they are organic bananas, um, non-GMO cane sugar, cooked in organic coconut oil. So like BB Boop, all the great things. And they're way better for you than chippies. Yeah? Yep. Yep, and I did try an experiment today, which we're gonna test because remember, you got snacks, plural, with an S at the end. And so I made these banana muffins, and we're gonna call oh. them banana crunch muffins because I, it's basic a basic <laughs> muffin yeah. recipe. Um, it's actually my favorite muffin recipe that's very versatile, and maybe someday I won't make a video about all the different ways that I take a one muffin recipe and make cool stuff out of it. Yeah. Are you up for that? I mean, yes. you get lots of muffins. It means I get to be the taste tester. Right, and there'll be lots of kinds of muffins. You're good You're good on that? No, it is my jam. That's your jam. Perfect. Okay, so I took I took a bunch of these, and I basically, the I took whole ones and just plopped them in the batter, um, and then I, you okay? Dropping stuff. Okay, almost. on the food. Perfect. A plus. Dropping food on the food. <laughs> and then I, I took some more, and I cut them up pretty fine, and then I sprinkled them on the top. So I'm hoping the top will uh, stay little crunchy banana pieces and the mm. banana inside will taste like banana muffin. I did have two bananas that I stole out of your banana stash. I noticed. Yeah, Mr. Reeve thinks the brown <laughs> bananas are still good breakfast bananas. So Because uh, Mr. Reeve is right. No, I stole them when I could no longer handle how horrible they looked. And so there was only two of them for the batter and really you need like four. So... I used two bananas and then the rest were these banana chips. And so you get to be the taste tester. Bye bye. Perfect. Soon, but not yet. You gotta wait. Okay, how about now? Almost. Okay. Okay, also, we got this case of organic pears. Sometimes it's difficult to get. Um, oh, actually, I lied. It's not organic, they're transitional organic, which means they're transitioning to organic, but. Um, it means that this specific farm I did research on hasn't had chemicals on their land for two to three years and they're transitioning to becoming organic. And so they have to go five, right? To be organic. Uh -huh, I think they have they... to go five. So I got these pears for transitional pears, right? So, <clears throat> so almost organic for cheaper than I could buy regular pears here in Alaska. And they're super good. Right. And, you know, sometimes you worry that if you're shipping produce, because it takes like 10 days to get here, and it's going on the barge, and who knows about the temperature, and it's just in the back of a truck, um, about the quality. Um, but there was one pair that I had to throw away. That was it. The rest right. are fabulous. I've had zero issues with any of the rest of the pairs. And it's not like they shipped them before they were ripe. They were ripe they're when they got beautiful. here. They're beautiful. They're wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do with them yet, but Mr. Reeve is quite... <laughs> Uh, right. He is quite sure he can yeah. just eat them all. I which, love pears. Which might be. And that's fine. You want to eat a case of pears, honey? You go right ahead and shovel it in. I'm well on my way if you've looked in that I box, know, it's, actually. It's a little shallow in there. It didn't <laughs> start that way. But that, yeah. But that's good. I'm glad he's getting fruit. I can right? make me some more pear trees, too. Yeah. Yes. If you watched our channel, you know. There's about, a pear tree out there. There. Yes. There's a pear right. tree out there. Okay. From Azure Standard. Yes. Yeah, from our very right. first order ever. Was that our uh -huh. first order? Yeah, oh. first, I think it was our very first order cool. ever. Okay, anyways. So, other, other things we got this time. I got Tinkiata, um shells, like rice noodle shells. And we love the rice noodles. We've gotten this brand 
and the jovial brand and they taste just as delicious they just are in different shapes um this is another practice item i got um to see if i like it or not i make soap so i don't always buy soap but this is like dr bronner's rose soap and i like rose um scent but it doesn't really smell that strong to me so i don't know that i'll buy it again but i haven't tried it out yet 100 percent um other things coffee now if you follow our channel <laughs> if you follow our Sorry. channel <laughs> we're trying to work towards non-gmo more organic eating as our budget allows um and so mr reeve is is he drinks coffee every day You're and welcome. so this coffee is really like twice as expensive as the cheapest bean coffee that we can get um but i figure if he's putting it in his body every day it's worth it for me it's like what you need a bag of coffee every month right yeah so for you to eat healthier i increased what we eat for you by a dollar a day so i'm really okay with it and coffee's not a necessity but mr reed likes well. it so yeah <laughs> it's okay we can do it now and as you can see it has been um manhandled as you were and these are spring clips to put on this bag because Mr. Reeve could not find the chip clips. So he improvised like a genius, like the genius you are, my dear. Oh, I wouldn't get that carried away. Where did you steal the spring clamps from would be my question. <clears throat> Pretty much just don't worry about what I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got it. Okay, other things I ordered, like I said, I ordered two cases of pint jars, but we already filled them up with salsa, so there's no boxes. Because that did... really is the best use for pint jars. Mm. I, I always say chili is pretty good use, too. Mm. Right? I know, we don't have any more chili. I could definitely argue uh -oh. for chili in quartz. Fair, fair. Mm. All right. Um, See? I did get another case of half-gallon jars, which I love. These half-gallon jars are a lot thicker um than than your regular jars that you're getting in the store um somebody did bring to my attention something i didn't realize um and i think if you were going to buy azure standard jars and this might concern you or not it depends on what your personal purchasing preferences are um but the azure jars are made in china and i was really surprised by that um and i uh, somebody told me that and i did the research and absolutely it says right on the azure website so um so if that matters to you, it's good information. I ordered another case of coconut cream. This is non-GMO, organic, no guar gum, coconut cream, way cheaper than I can get here in Alaska. Makes amazing soups. Mm. Oh yeah. We had a coconut Thai curry the other night. Yeah. That was really good. Um, someday I'll do recipes and videos on that, but I mean, the, really I just throw stuff in a, a pot and say that tastes right. So yeah someday but not today okay we did order a we're tr like i said we're trying to move toward organic right so we ordered this five pounds of organic sharp white cheddar cheese now um it is more expensive but that's one of the things that we're willing to kind of spend a different amount on because we eat a lot of cheese Love right cheese, and yeah. we have goats so we can make mozzarella and farm cheese out of our goat's milk but out of how many does do we have now? Eight. Eight out of eight does. You don't count Daisy. Yeah, because Daisy's the baby. Eight and a half. We have eight and a half <laughs> does. Um, and this year we only had one doe have a baby, so that was not enough milk to make cheese. Um, <laughs> basically we just had milk. What, what, what? We didn't even make butter this year. I know. So that was kind of rough. Anyways, um, so we're trying to branch out and buy organic cheese because we can't make our own organic fresh from the goat cheese. Um, and this is a little bit of a lie because <laughs> you're going to tell my secrets. Huh? This is, this is what that organic five pounds of white sharp cheddar looked like <laughs> when we first got it before Mr. Reeve got to it in all transparency. This is mozzarella because I had bought 10 pounds of mozzarella and we haven't gone through the second five pounds yet. So let me show you <laughs> really what the white sharp cheddar looks like. <laughs> that's what we have left yep right and very so sad. right and so that's why like when you tell me wife i'm very sure i can polish off a case of pears i have absolute faith in you husband yeah i know you can make it happen so when's the case of cheese coming okay sorry <laughs> we cannot <laughs> afford the case of cheese we cannot afford the case of cheese that's too much okay is that all the things oh you gotta taste your muffins I love this. Plant. Okay, so let's see if banana crunch muffins is a, is a real thing. And it, if it, they taste bad, tell everybody. 
Okay. Like, yeah, like be honest. Okay. Because I just threw stuff in a pot. Threw, threw stuff in the pot. I mm. threw, yeah, I threw stuff in the bowl and said I think I that might work. I can't be knocking the crunchies off the top. I know it. I might I'm, have to show them the crunchies. Yeah, I'm they're really make a mess cute. Of this one right here. Okay, you eat that. You take your bite. Sorry, I'm making a mess. It's fine. The floor's wet. <laughs> Did mm -hmm. you just eat two thirds of that muffin in one bite? No. More like sixty percent. No. Oh, okay. Fifty. Fine. What do you think? That's good. Can you fa feel or taste little banana chips on the inside? Mm -hmm. Really? Are they yep. crunchy or gooey or? No. Reconstituted. They're like reconstituted. Are but, they a little bit chewy? Not... Maybe. Yeah. Cool. They're just like a little bit chewy. They're not crunchy, but they're also not gooey. They're good. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Mm, showing everybody. Yeah. So here's the top of that muffin where I just put um, a little bit of oatmeal, brown sugar, and I chopped up those little mm. banana pieces. Not too shabby. Man, I really like the banana chips on the top. That's awesome. Do you? Are, yeah. they, are the ones on the top still crunchy? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they are. Good. Yep. Good. I'm happy about that. Okay, one last thing before we go. Um, we have a video that I'm going to link in the description below. And it is about canning greens. Um, and if you, at the end of October, this is 2023, okay? So at the end of this month, October 2023, I'm going to take all of the comments that were left in that video. And I'm going to um, put y'all in a hat and pull out a name for this herb, this herb stripper, okay? And this is what mine looks like. Has little holes in it. Um, so when I, when I, um, canned the, the greens, I just stuck the stem through the hole and pulled and all the leaf comes off and the stem is separate. So if you think you might be interested, um, in winning that, go to that video, watch the video, leave a comment. Um, and as long as leaving, as well as leaving that in the comment section, I'll also leave a link for Azure Standard. If you're interested, if you go through the link and you place an order, and open up an account for $100, then I get a little bit of a kickback. And if you don't do that, that's fine too. Just, I'm happy you watch the video. Um, and what's the other thing? Oh, yes, I always leave how much all this stuff costs and what I paid in shipping. Because shipping for me in Alaska is significantly more. Like, I pay $0.45 cents per pound on top of what the price of the items are. And I think I had somebody in, like, New Jersey that had contacted me. And I think they pay, like, $0.08 or $0.12 cents a pound. Yeah. Um, because their warehouse is much closer to where their town right. is, to their drop area. So there's no Azure warehouse in Alaska. Like, everything's got to come the long way. So. Yeah. Anyways, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say, that being said, Miss Crystals does a really, really good job of making price comparisons. Not just with, like, other organic stuff, but you'll compare the price with that shipping, since you know how much it is per pound, with what we could get at a store locally. And that'll kind of decide whether you get me good stuff or not <laughs> <laughs> whether it's worth buying it on right. azure standard or whether it's worth getting locally yeah yeah well thanks for that yeah it's pretty impressive you does all of her research and everything and... baby boo yep google mr google pants mr google pants <laughs> anyways thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i didn't ramble too too much for you you know who i am it's how it goes <laughs> now we get two ramblers that right it's twice as bad now <laughs> and we'll catch you guys in the next video Good, I'm glad you like those muffins, dude. Yeah.